Hey, 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 everybody. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches. Welcome to my Vlogmas Day 4. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first three days of me showing you how to create quick and easy graphics for your videos with Keynote. Today, we're going to kick it up a notch, though. We're going to do animations quick and easy with Keynote. So let's open up Keynote and get right to it. So as usual, we're going to pick a brand new presentation. Let's drag and select all delete. And I'm going to do a color fill this time of, of dark blue again, because I want to have some black elements in my animation so I can see them. All right. So we're going to pick a shape and we're going to make a quick lower third name tag, right? Or name bar. So drag that out. That's a good size. And let's open up our object list. Option drag to copy. Bring it down. Make that about 60 again. All right. Then we're going to option drag another piece and drag it to the top. That's going to be just a little accent bar, right? So there we go. Let's make that top accent bar gray, make the middle white. And then we have our black bar at the bottom. And so let's go over here to our list and make sure that accent bar is at the bottom too. We want the bigger pieces on top. All right. So here we go. We're going to shorten that bottom bar a little bit. A really quick lower third name plate is all we're building. All right, so text, and let's put a name in it. So Bradley teaches, that'll work for that. And let's go to the trusty font I've been using every day and kick that up a notch. All right, Bradley teaches. There we go. We'll bold that. All right. So now we're going to go over here to our layers palette and option drag that so we can get that bottom text, drag it down, triple click, make it white. And let's take the bold off of that and make it smaller. All right. At least that's what I call myself. All right. So we have part one done. All right. So all we have to do now, just for grins, I'm going to add a couple more shapes. I'm going to add a shape over here and put it off the screen. And I'm going to do a star and put it off the screen. Do a little range on that and change the angle of it. All right. And you'll understand that in a second. So those two things are off the screen to the side. All right. So I have all my elements ready now. I'm going to go over here to my slide list. Click on the slide to highlight it. Then Command C to copy. Command V to paste. So now I want to work in slide number two, which is a copy of slide one. So slide number two, I'm going to make all my changes. So I'm going to go here to Bradley Teaches teaching you cool graphic stuff I can make that box bigger with keynote make that box smaller and I'm gonna do that box green let's go to format style we'll make it green like a deeper green all right we're gonna make that top box I don't know let's make it gold and we'll make that top box smaller so it'll be an accent now. Let's make that text blue. Okay. And don't forget about those other two elements we just had, right? So we're going to grab that circle and we can shift drag it in or just move it to wherever we want it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And let's make that gold too. All right. Then we're going to grab that star and we're going to shift drag that over. And let's make it red and make it smaller too. And go to a range and rotate it a little bit. All right. Okay. So all we did is we made the first slide, made our elements, made a second slide by editing copied elements from the first slide, right? So now 
All we have left to do is animate it. But here's the crazy thing. The animation is already done. Let's go back to the first slide. We're going to go to animate, add an effect, magic move. And you'll see it happen right before your eyes right there. Awesome. All you have to do is build your art, copy that slide, make a new slide, then edit your art. And magic move puts all the pieces between. So all we need to do now is just set up how and when we want this to happen. We want the duration of the animation to maybe last three seconds, so it'll be a little bit slow. And we want it to happen after they've seen our title slide for maybe five seconds, right? So we're going to have it automatically start at five seconds. So they're going to show my name and title for five seconds, then animate to the next one. That is it. So now we click off of everything, go back to format and make sure our slides are transparent. So we go back and make color fill, no fill. Let's go to that second slide, background color fill, no fill. All right. And now we're going to have to export this a different way than we've been exporting the first three days. We need to export this as a movie this time. And we're going to do a self-playing movie, play all the slides. Before and next slide, we put at zero. We don't want to have another delay on it that we didn't want. Now, here is the kicker. You want this to be an April ProRes 4444 because that locks in the transparency within the animation. You got to have that to have transparency so you can see your video behind it. We go to next. We're going to save this as BV magic and export. And let's go back to our main scene here. All right. So here is my lower third with my name and title, and then it animates automatically to the second scene. Right. Awesome. Let's watch it one more time. Name tag sits there for about five seconds, then automatically animates to another scene. You have just made an animation <laughs> without worrying about any of the moving parts. You just create, copy, edit, and let Keynote do the rest. So hopefully this was helpful to you to get you started doing some basic animations in Keynote. And until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. See y'all tomorrow.